Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan for My Favorite Things and in today's video we are going to be ink blending a nighttime scene on a mini slimline card. The stamp set that I'm going to be using today is called Thank My Lucky Stars from My Favorite Things. I love these cute little bears where it looks like they're catching stars and I'm also going to use the modern serif alphabet. To create my scene, I have a piece of 80 pound white cardstock that is cut to three by six, so it's a mini slimline size. And I started by ink blending the bottom half with salty ocean, salty ocean Distress Oxide Ink using my blending tool. I blended about a third of the way up, and then in the middle, I'm coming in with Prize Ribbon, and then I'm going to come in with Villainous Potion at the top. So right now I am just laying down my first layers. I do find that by the more ink that I add, the easier that it is to blend. So with the Villainous Potion, I'm going to blend into that prize ribbon. And you can see that I'm using a post-it note to protect my fingers since this is going to be completely covered in the Distress Oxide ink and I don't wanna leave fingerprints. So after I did the purple, I'm going back through those colors to help smooth out the transition. So there is my finished background and I'm gonna set this off on the side to dry for a little while. I'm gonna add stars to it a little, little bit later on in the video. I have three images that I chose off of the Thank My Lucky Stars stamp set. And I also have that little uh, pot or bowl or bucket <laughs> of stars. And I'm stamping these on 80 pound white cardstock in the My Favorite Things Extreme Black ink. Now I can start coloring these images with my Copic markers. So for the colors I'm using for my bear today, I'm actually doing a four color combo. Normally I would do three, but the head has quite a bit of open space. So for those colors, I'm using E37, 35, 33, and 31. Now since this particular bear is facing to the left, I'm going to put the darkest area or the shadow area on the right. And then I just blend that out with the remaining colors. My second bear right underneath it is facing the opposite direction. So I skipped that in the video for right now and I went over to the bear that is facing forward. Now this one, I'm gonna add the shadow areas on both sides so that way the highlight area is gonna be directly down the center of the bear. So I have the E37 on the side of the head and then blending out with that E35, 33, and 31. Now the legs and the body might not get all of those colors because they are smaller areas, so I just add in up until I fill in those areas and then I just call it good. Once I have the bear all colored in, I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to the bunny. So I wanted it to be a white bunny, and with this, there's not a lot of area to color in, so I am just taking a C1 marker and adding a dark area or a shadow area just to the sides of the head and then also to the legs and the arms. I'm coloring in the stars with a Y08. For the ears and on the bunny and the bear, I'm just going to bring in an R20. And then for my little flag pole and the pole that's holding that net up at the top, I'm just using an E17, just trying to draw in those lines. I had forgotten to color in the belly of the bear down in that right hand corner. So I'm gonna bring my E37 and 35 back in and just fill in that area. I'm going to use some reds to do the shirts of the bear and the bunny. And I just kept it the same because they are quite small and it just kind of minimizes the amount of markers I have on my desk. I'm also going to use that red combination for my little pail of stars. And for that, I did R24, 22, and R20. And then for my flag, I have B04, 02, and 00. For the little bench that my bear is sitting on, I am going to color that in with an E27, just adding a line at the very bottom. And then I'll bring in E23 and just fill that rest of that area in. I really didn't blend too much together. I like that stark contrast look. Now I'm going to bring in the coordinating dies for these images and I like to just bring them all out, pick out which ones I need and lay them in place. Now these might look a little bit different and the reason why is because it's going to cut out all of those little areas in between the critters and the flag, which I thought was really cool. So I held all of those down with post-it tape, set those off on the side after I die cut them. And then here, I'm just quickly drying my background. I'm gonna do some embossing on this, so I wanna make sure my background is completely dry. I wanted to try something a little different with my sentiment, so I'm gonna go vertical on my card. So I lined up the sentiment straight onto that bottom corner. I'm going to prep this with an anti-static powder tool. Now, I'm gonna die cut the word stars, so I need to mask off part of that sentiment. 
So I did that with some post-it tape, just covered over the area I don't need. I'm inking up the rest of that sentiment in white pigment ink. Then I'm going to remove that post-it and stamp this down. So all I'm going to have is thank my lucky, and then I'll have the word uh, die cut stars underneath. So just carefully pressing that down. I don't want to push too hard. And then once I have that stamped, I'm going to sprinkle on some white embossing powder and just tap off any of that excess. Before I bring my heat tool in, there were a couple little flicks of white embossing powder. So I'm just taking a paintbrush and just gently pushing those away. Then I can bring in my heat tool and melt that embossing powder. Now I can bring in my images and start setting my scene. So off screen, I die cut the word stars out of that modern serif alphabet using white cardstock. That's really going to pop off of the background. And here I'm arranging my bears. So some of them are going to hang off the edge of the cardstock. And that flag, I thought it was just easier to trim that off. So I trimmed around the bear's head and towards the bottom of that seat that they're sitting on. Now, I think what I forgot to show in the video is that there is a little bit of black line where the flag connects to that bench. And I took a white gel pen and just kind of colored in that area a little bit. So that way it looks like just one nice white outline around the image. Now that I know where everything is going to go, I'm going to add some stars to my background. And to do this, there's lots of different things you could use to add the stars. I'm going to take some white perfect pearls. So I am just scooping some out on my surface. I'm going to add a couple drops of water and then mix that together with a paintbrush. And I like to add this mixture to an acrylic block and then flick off of the block off of the block and this will give me some really fine stars. If I wanted bigger stars, I could just tap my paintbrush onto the background. I'm going to add my die cut word here using some liquid glue and I'm gonna tap off a little bit of that glue with my finger just so it doesn't squish out of the sides. Now, one thing I should have started with is the T. Uh, I came a little bit off center there or it's um, not completely straight lined up there because my T hangs down lower than the S. It still works, but I really should have started with the T first. I am adding small foam squares behind each of my images. Some of the foam squares I had to trim down into little tiny squares to fit behind some of these smaller areas just to make sure that there is even coverage behind all of those images. Then I can peel off the backing and I'm starting with the bear that's at the top. I thought it was super cute with having that little pole and the star hanging down. And then I can just work my way down the side of the card. So you are going to notice some of these are hanging off of the edge. And I was okay with that. I can trim off that excess as long as I wasn't cutting off any of the image. I didn't want to cut off the, the little bunny or the bear. And then for that little bucket of stars, instead of trying to add a foam square behind that, I added a small foam square right in between the bear and the bunny, which fit perfectly. And then I could add the bucket of stars on top of that. Now that I have everything added, I can flip that over and trim off that excess and add to a card base. So that is going to finish off my mini slimline card here. Thank my lucky stars. And I think this would be a great card to give to a teacher for the end of the school year, which is what I actually plan on doing. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you soon.